What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a micro SD card like I have right here on your Nintendo Switch like this one right here. And so let me go just go ahead and show you the micro SD card that I have. So it came in this package actually. I already took it out. But it's basically a Samsung Evo 128 gigabyte card. So it's actually a, one of the faster cards, so Class 10 U3. You probably don't actually need one that's this fast for your Nintendo Switch, but I'll put a link to it in the description. It's from Amazon, and you know the faster it is, the faster your console will be, so it never hurts. Um, I'll put some other links to some other cards on Amazon as well. And you know, I think the I know the Nintendo Switch supports up to two terabyte uh, SD card. Now I'm sure you really don't need that because the Nintendo Switch games aren't quite that big. So you know, 128 gigabytes should be plenty for a, you know a long time. So that's what I have, it's what I recommend. I'll put some other SD card links in the description as well. And so here's the actual SD card. And so let me just go ahead and show you how to actually put it in your SD card or in your Nintendo Switch and use it. So it usually comes with these two things right here. So this one right here is the actual micro SD card. And this right here is the SD adapter. So if you want to use the SD adapter, you basically just put your micro SD card in the SD adapter. And so that's usually for like using with your computer or whatever. But so you're not going to need this SD adapter for your Switch. So we can just put that over to the side. And all you need is the micro SD part. And so first, first thing you want to do is make sure your console is completely off. So mine is off. And we're going to flip it over. And if we look over here on the left side, there's a, a kickstand. And you want to flip that up. And right under it. It's kind of hard to see on my camera, but there's a little micro SD slot right there. We're going to put your micro SD card in. So let me get my micro SD card. And if you you can't see it on here, but if you look at it closely, there's a, a little figure that shows the convention of how you plug it in in the correct way. So I put it in and you push it until you hear a clicking noise. And once it clicks, it's uh, positioned in place. And you can go ahead and switch your uh, or flip your switch back over and turn it on. So let me hold down the power button. And let me go ahead and zoom in on my screen a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And so now that we have our switch on, um, I, I think it's it'll depend on if it's your first time putting your SD card in, it'll probably ask you to do some sort of quick update. It might not, I'm not sure, but it did for me my first time. But after you do that, if it asks you to do that, you're now going to be back at the screen again. And the first thing you want to do is go down to this bottom bar and go over to System Settings and select that. And so once you select System Settings, you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says System. And then we're going to go over to the right and scroll all the way down again to this one tab where it says Initialize. And we're going to select that. So now once you've selected initialize, you want to come down two selections to format micro SD card. And so let me warn you that if you have any other data on your micro SD card, make sure you've either uh, transferred it to wherever you need it or, you know, if you don't need that data anymore, then that's fine because it's going to delete everything on your micro SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. It's going to give you, it's going to warn you a few times that it's going to go ahead and uh, delete whatever's on your micro SD card that you're using. So it warned me there, and it's warning me again. Warning me again. So one, yeah, data cannot data data cannot be restored once it's deleted. So you know, make sure there's nothing important on your micro SD card. So now my micro SD card has been formatted, and now the console is restarting, which is pretty standard practice. Fortunately, the Nintendo the Nintendo Switch does not take very long to restart, unlike you know some other consoles like the PS4 and Xbox that sort of thing. So now you have it on and your micro SD card is good to go. So I'm not going to delve into how to use it too much, but I'm going to show you basically, you know, where you can see your micro SD card and see how much is on your uh, how much memory you have. So I don't know why I scroll down here first. You actually need to go to system settings and scroll down to data management. And as you can see, you now have two slots up here, so system memory that's your free space and micro SD card that is your free space so I have 119 gigabytes of free space on my micro SD card and so there's a few other things you can do with your SD card like uh, transferring games that sort of thing 
but I'm not gonna go into that in this video. I'll probably make another video with, uh, on some specific techniques for transferring uh, uh, games and that sort of thing. But one thing you do need to know is that you cannot transfer, at least at this point in time, you can't transfer game saves from the internal memory to the external. It's always, your game saves are always gonna be on your internal. Basically all you can do is come down to manage uh, screenshots and you can you can transfer screenshots uh, from system memory to your micro SD card pretty easily. Basically just shows you how to do it right here. Or tells you how to do it right here. So that's about it. All you gotta do is make sure you have your console off, put your micro SD card in, and then turn it on and uh, format your micro SD card. And you basically should be good, good to go to use your micro SD card with your Switch. And basically any of the games you download from now on should automatically download to your micro SD card. So you should be good to go. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos with like this one. And hope you guys have a great day.